Today I would like to introduce about rundown tank purpose and working. Rundown tanks are simply used for storage of fluid or oil up to a certain height in skid system from the shaft center line of the rotary equipments. Rundown tank is primarily used for the storage of liquid or oil. It is used as the safety equipment which provides the oil flow to the bearing of various installed rotary equipment that is pumps, compressor. Bearings are important machine parts of any rotating equipment with high level of sensitivity even a small damage make them faulty which result in shutdown of the whole plant system. Commonly used for a rundown tank is an oil lubrication system which supplies the lube oil to the respective bearing at required flow rate with respect to pressure and temperature. Oil is transported to the rotating equipment via skid system network of piping, valves and instrument. Electrical and automation is also used for controlling the system. It is usually a skid system that consists of major components such as heat exchanger, rundown cooler, filters, pumps and driver for these components as well as included in skid system. Rundown tank design on the parameter such as size, capacity. Accurate capacity of rundown tanks provides continuous flow of the oil to the rotating equipment of the skid system under gravity during the coast downtime. Cost downtime is states as the indication of faulty system. It is defined as the method which is used to assess the mechanical degradation of the rotary equipment. Operation procedure for the rundown tank is as follows. Rundown tank is kept unloaded during the initial startup stage and same philosophy to be followed for the shutdown stage. Level of oil inside the rundown tank is parameter on which rotating equipment start procedure depends. Filling of oil to the rundown tank is recommended or provided by the supplement or additional pump. During normal operation of main equipment. Main lube oil pump keeps the lube oil supply header pressurized and maintains lube oil flow to the bearings. Rundown tank filling valve is closed and lube oil flow to the rundown tank is blocked by the check valve. This small leakage flow through the orifice plate maintains a continuous lube oil recirculation back to the lube oil reservoir through the overflow line. This recirculation helps to avoid lube oil stagnation and sediment accumulation in the rundown tank. Also, it helps to maintain the rundown tank oil temperature at or closer to the lube oil supply temperature to the bearings. Coast down after emergency shutdown trip. By virtue of the system design, the maximum static head by rundown tank is lower than lube oil trip set pressure. Therefore, static head in the lube oil rundown tank does not maintain oil flow to the lube oil supply header as long as the lube oil supply header pressure is maintained above the lube oil trip set pressure therefore static head in the lube oil rundown tank does not maintain oil flow to the lube oil supply header as long as the lube oil supply header pressure is maintained above the lube oil trip set pressure when both the main and auxiliary lube oil pumps are lost such as in case of total power failure the lube oil supply header pressure falls below the lube oil trip set pressure. The main equipment trips and enters into its coast down period. Soon after this moment, the static head from rundown tank is relatively higher than the prevailing lube oil header pressure. Therefore, a gravity flow is established by the rundown across the check valve down to the bearings through the low supply header. 